okay, here's where we left off. We had a color that we didn't want, but we do have swatches. So why uh, is the color over the entire image? Let's close the swatches for now and see exactly what Illustrator did when it auto-traced. Here's the Layers panel, and I'm going to open that. Here's the layer, and in order to see what's on it, you click the little twisty. We can see that this is one group. That still doesn't show me very much of what is on this image. Click that again, and now I can see all my shapes. I'm going to move the layers, close the artboards, and expand the layers panel. I'm also going to use the Move tool, which is the Hand tool here, actually, and move the document over so that we can see both the document and the Layers panel. I can turn off all of these layers, and then we should be able to see which object is controlled by what. This is one of Illustrator's least favorite tricks, to my mind. It has traced the outside of the image, even though we, I told it to ignore white. So the first thing I'm going to do is to say, I don't need this layer at all. And I'm going to drag it to the trash can. Now it's gone. Here's the next layer. Well, that actually looks pretty good. That's very close to what I wanted on my original image. Let's see what happens if I then turn on all of these little circles. Okay, we've got the circles. We've got the original image. All of these pieces were fills that we didn't need, that we didn't want. I can leave them off. I can also click one Notice that the eye is not on this. I don't want these shapes, so I can click from here, shift click to the bottom. Excuse me. Well, that's not doing it. Okay. I can come in and click the first of the layers that I want to delete. Hold the shift key and click down here for the last of the layers. All of these are highlighted. If I click the trash can icon to delete the selection, now they're gone and I have the shapes that I want. At this point, let me minimize the layers panel by going into Essentials, Reset Essentials, and now my screen is back the way it was before. Here's my layers panel still present. Now I can go into the swatches panel. Uh, my fill is active and I can all I need to do is to select these shapes. Now I can change their color again, any color that I want. Some of you have asked, well, how do you change an individual color? Maybe I don't want everything to be yellow or green. Let me de While I have this selected, let me choose Object, Ungroup. Now let's look at the Layers panel. Now the grouping is gone on the Layers panel, and all I'm seeing are the individual objects. Uh, this, however, is a compound group. So I can change my dots. If I want to change the color of the dot, I can change, deselect, pick a dot, change it to pink. Pick this dot, change that to pink. Shift click to get some other dots and change those all to the hot pink. However, if I want to get this background, notice that this is all one shape. So I am still limited without breaking apart this entire shape to picking a single color for this area. I'll talk in a minute about how you break this apart, but for now, here's how you do the basic color change on your image. 
to later.